Hello everybody, welcome to Uprising. Today I'm going to show you how to do your annual maintenance on your hydrogen machine. It seems that a lot of people don't know how. I've been getting a lot of messages on it, so here's how to do it. So this is what you really want to do. You really want to be consistent with your cleaning mode, but another thing that you really want to do is make sure that you know how to use this sponge properly. See the sponge, here let me grab the camera, see if you can see it. You have to have the centerpiece elevated. And then, well, are you able to see this? So the centerpiece has to be elevated and it has to be really, really wet. Now a lot of these do get rather dirty with time, so you gotta make sure to keep this area clean. And the way I do my either six month or annual maintenance is I'll first actually drain the machine. So there's a little plug on the back here. You pull it out, it drains all the water out. Once the water's out, and you wanna drain, do that first, and I'll show you why, because when you open up this style of machine, you'll see there's water in here. And if this water were to spill out into this area over here, this is where the electronics are. So you can damage the machine. So that's why you want to drain it first before you move it around. So if you move it around too vigorously, this water will just spill out if it was fuller. I don't have this one real full right now. So basically, what you do is you drain out the machine, and then there's a filter in here. Again, if you can see it, this is the filter, the big, the big circle. And you just slide it out and get a new one and slide it in. You want to do that either... I think they say the filters are good for six to nine months. Um, if you don't do it within six to nine months, I would definitely recommend doing it within a year's time. And then after you drain out all the water, I always wipe the tank, the inner tank down with like some type of cloth. And I remove the sponge, uh, clean it up if possible, if you need to, or just, you know, wring it out. But the important part is in here, there's a lot of dust and different things accumulate. You're gonna wipe it all down. Some of the spots are really hard to reach. So you wanna get a Q-tip and just make sure to clean it up really, really good. If you can get a new sponge, um, that would be even better because sometimes they get really mangled. In fact, this is what I did. I kinda, because I noticed that they get kind of um, old after time. And this is what I did with the sponge. Underneath the new, gosh, I can't get a good angle on here. Let's see here. So sorry here, let's see. There we go. What I did with the old sponge is I left it underneath because it actually gets really compact, so then I just put the new one on top so it sticks up like that. And eventually this one will get old and it'll get compacted too, and then I'll probably keep doing that so that way it stays nice and elevated. So after you clean everything down here, after you clean everything, you put the new sponge back in, and you put the new filter, slide it in there, and then you just fill the machine up again. You fill it up with water like you normally would, and maybe even just run a clean mode just for the heck of it. Snap this part back on and you're ready to go. It's pretty simple. Don't forget to put the plug in back here. Um, if you guys want to know where to get the filters or get the sponges, I get a lot of those questions all the time. I'll put a link um, at the bottom of my, uh, I'll put the link at the bottom somewhere uh, to show you where you can get, get those type of things. And I hope this information helped. And we'll see you guys next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you're enjoying the videos. And yeah, we'll see you next time.